Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. It's Friday. We have some promotional events coming inside of this game. Foot Birthday is not over just yet. It does go through this weekend. So these cards are still in packs. They were in packs for rewards. A lot of them dropped a little bit. And I want to take a look at those cards. I want to take a look at uh, the middle icon SBC, which is back in the code. And probably, um, I'm very confident with this actually, is coming today on Friday. So I want to look at those things. Also, take a look at Weekend League Flips. I didn't do too much of that. Um, I I really didn't. I just ran out of time last night. I bought a few cards right before um, before rewards uh, and then listed them overnight. And I got a decent amount of sales. And those sales actually pushed us up high enough today where we hit um, my goal this year was to hit 50 million transfer profit. And I did hit that today. So I was pretty pumped about that. Pretty cool achievement. Um, I think from last year being at 12, 13 million transfer profit this year all the way to 50. So um, I'm pretty proud of myself for what I've been able to do this year. And it's been fun being able to, to make videos about it and to talk with you guys about it as well. So we're gonna continue doing that by going to Footbin and looking at some good old market graphs and talking about what happened today on the market. So right now, as you can see today earlier, before awards, market was around 59 points. Right now we are at 62. A lot of stuff has gone up today. Literally everything. Meta gold cards. Um, we didn't get, we got the Lukaku SBC today, which I don't know if you're gonna do them, it's like a collector's item card. If you really wanna spend 130K, okay. Uh, we also got Maldini, who's actually around 2 million coins. He requires a good amount of informs and an 89 rated squad. So I think that is priced pretty fairly, but I, I'm not going to be completing that SBC just because that's I don't need another center back. Um, I have Cannavaro, and I'd rather just get somebody else to play with, maybe later down the road towards the end of FIFA, as we're trying to find ways to spend our coins. Um, we might end up doing that SBC and have some fun with that. But I want to take a look at a couple areas of the market after weekly rewards that did very, very well. And I'm actually kind of surprised by this. I'm not surprised that the market went up because we had an entire week of a, a kind of an average promo and not a lot of people were doing SBCs. Um, and this is totally an EA thing to do. They just put the middle icon code back into the code. They, they put it in on Tuesday and they pulled it out and now they put it back in. And I do think it's going to come tomorrow because that's, that's what the, the, what's the usually happens with this SBC. The baby icon usually comes out on a Friday. It gets teased Thursday night. So I would expect that SBC to come out tomorrow, and for everything that you saw go up today, come crashing back down tomorrow in the panic. Um, but these cards, the UCL Lives, they rose a ton today. Um, I'm not sure about PS4, but I want to take a look. That this Raheem Sterling card earlier in the week, okay, they didn't go that up as much on uh, on PS. He's still 529 on PS. He's 590 on Xbox if this 579 gets out of the way. Other cards, Kempembe. I want to check. His price here, he went up on PS as well. Look at this. He was 137k. I didn't even look at these cards last night because look at this. After they lose, it's just been a downhill trend. But these cards have gotten rare on the market. I want to go take a look at uh, at these cards with you right now. I had a couple Nacho Fernandez left from when I invested in him big time uh, before the last game. And I still had him left on my transfer list. And I was just listing them at 70,000 coins. He was all the way down at 45 and he was up to 70,000 coins today. Look at Kempembe up at 160K. Literally, let's go back to Footbin. We'll check his hourly graph. Last night before awards, he was 139K and look where he's gone today. He went right up to 160K. That's 30,000 coins a card before tax. Uh, that's a great investment. Um, after tax, I mean, you're making 25, 20, 20 23, 24, 25,000 coins a card in that price range at 160K. That's a very, very good investment. And he was not the only one that went up today. As I mentioned, the Nacho Fernandez went up, um, the Davinson Sanchez is up. Obviously, I, I mentioned this, uh, Sterling was 500K earlier. Um, Alexis Sanchez at 232K, uh, he's up a lot. He was down at 200K. So a lot of these cards really rebounded, to, rebounded today. And that just really shows me that people went out and they bought stuff. Now, if we get more, we're gonna get some panic with the icons. Uh, the middle icon SBC. So I imagine that everything that we just had uh, going up in the market today, I hopefully you are, your weekend league flips are, are gone. They're good. You got them and you cashed out. I hope they're done uh, because I do think we're going to get some more panic 
And again, in this panic, I, I know I just mentioned UCL Live, UCL Live cards, uh, but those games are coming up here in about a week, a little over a week. So I'm going to be looking at those cards to possibly invest in tomorrow if we do get a massive panic sell, or when the SBC comes out um, tomorrow at 6 p.m. UK, what kind of panic sell will we see then? I really think I'm going to focus on some of the cards that have really just rebounded really well uh, in the recent recent times just because of how new they are how, and just the type of quality of card and because if they're live like these live items the ucl live cards obviously there aren't as many of them that are live anymore but there are still a good chunk and we'll go check out uh the live squad now i want to talk about carnivals as well because those cards they're really really rare Look at this, Gabriel Jesus at 420,000 coins. Last night he was 390. I thought he was going to go higher because of the Willian, um, but he, he didn't. Uh, but he still rose up a pretty good amount. So we're going to go over here and take a look at these Carnivals. They're all very high right now. Muller at 68k. Last night he was um, under 60. Bonucci bombed big time. He was He's 81k. Last night I think he was like 60, 67 or 68 maybe. Yeah, he was a below 70 last night and a little bit of a panic sell before rewards. Um, Dybala hasn't moved too much. Immobile is kind of similar. Ribery has been under 100k. He's now 118k. Um, so that's a nice rise out of him. Um, Alderwild is, and Alderwild and Yoris are just so rare. And <laughs> people must be loving these cards because they're very, very rare on the market. Um, are you serious? Hector Bellerin is 230. Wow. Look at this, boys. This man was 160k in packs. Two weeks later, he goes flying. Crazy. That is ridiculous. A lot of the other stuff was up as well. So I really, if these cards get panic sold again, people like these cards. You can tell by how much they've gone up and they are rare. Look for these cards in a panic sell. Um, for if we do see this SBC tomorrow, leading up to it and even after it. And now I want to point out a few of the UCL lives as well. So for these, you're going to focus on players that are still in games, obviously. Um, and we're talking about buying these cards today, not tomorrow, today, if the middle icon SBC comes, which I think it will, uh, we're looking at buying these cards in the panic because they could rise a bunch in the next week or so as we get uh, more Champions League games coming back into motion. So the Sterling card was under 500k in the pre-foot birthday panic right in here. Um, it shows 502 is his lowest point. That's pretty low. If he goes back to 500 again, there are more Premier League right mids in the game now, but he is English. And if he gets another upgrade, um, which he probably will, uh, I'm assuming that City will pass Spurs, uh, even though I am a Spurs fan, um, this card's going to be insane. It already is insane. He's got 99 agility, 99 balance. Um, it's going to be even, even better if they can get past Spurs. Um, other than that, Focus on the other guys that are in games. Even Dominson Sanchez, he will rise even though they're not the favored, excuse me, the favored team. He still will do very well. I like Quadrado uh, as a right mid from Juve. He's going to have a beast card as well if he gets another upgrade. So, and I think the, the stat that's overlooked on him, he has 70 defense. This man could play right back uh, if you really wanted him to. He could be like a right wing back for your team. Uh, so I think that's a pretty cool card. And then, of course, Lingard, just because he has the United hype. I mean, we just got the Pogba inform. We have the um, center back Lukaku, which is very random. But, you know, they're putting out a lot of the United cards in the game right now. So those are my kind of two favorite things if we do see a panic sell for this middle icon SBC. Now, actually, let's go take a look at some of these middle icons. Um, I think that's going to be the main point of this video because that's going to be the biggest market mover here in the next couple of days, if this middle icon SBC does come out, now this card's actually up about 100, not 100K, maybe about 75K. He was under 1.4 mil uh, earlier this week. Rewards pushed him up. Um, and you can see this bid right here is kind of keeping his price inflated um, above 1.4 because you see these bids for 1.3, 1.43 and stuff like that. So watch these icons tomorrow as well. I know I talked about this earlier in the week. In my video and if you want to go reference that video um, definitely go do that I'll link it below but uh, these icons are gonna get panic sold tomorrow as people realize that the SBC is coming or they're just gonna see it come out and they're gonna go panic sell uh, their icons that are of the middle version for each card you're gonna see it tomorrow it's gonna to happen and then people are also gonna panic sell their other cards to get coins because they want to do this SBC or they fear that the this market will crash with this SBC coming out of the game it probably will do some sort of downward correction. Um, 
I do think the market will go down because people just love these icon upgrade SBCs. Um, we haven't had a middle icon upgrade SBC ever before in FIFA. So obviously it's going to be hard to tell how much it's going to cost, how much um, people are going to be willing to pay for it. So this is kind of like uh, kind of a shot in the dark on EA side of things. Uh, if We'll really be able to tell what they're trying to do with this SBC when it comes out and when we see the actual requirements for it um, based on how much it requires. If they make it really, really expensive, they obviously don't want too many people to do it and they just want to maybe cause some panic on the market or maybe this the whole entire entire idea of dropping it today is let everybody buy their teams before weekend league starts tonight and then you just pan you, you crash the market you cause everybody to panic those people lose coins and we know that ea likes uh at least it seems uh to conveniently allow people to lose coins in this game so then obviously it takes the coin total down and uh they have to buy more fifa points so that's how ea sees it and it's obvious to see that they operate like that sometimes. So what are, we, what are we doing with this baby icon or the middle icon SBC? We're just gonna ride it out and see what happens. If there is panic, uh, you're gonna wanna hop in on some of the panic selling because as we see with this market every single time this year, this, this could be the panic selling that we have wanted to see during this promo the entire time. I know there was panic selling to begin the promo, but I thought we were gonna see another round of panic during this weekend. They dropped Maldini today. That's a step in the right direction. We could still get a Hullet. We could still get an R9, a Ronaldinho, the Optimus Prime, the Moments version of those cards. It's very possible that they come out. Uh, it's very possible that we get one of those SBCs uh, this weekend as well. Maybe EA just has the promo kind of being okay, and then they're going to, at the end, they're going to smash it, and they're going to... Uh, and they're, they're going to drop a big boy icon, SBC, or something. So that's one thing we got to keep our eyes out for. We got to uh, be careful and attuned to as well that if one of these icons of a Cruyff, a Hullet, Eusebio, any of the top five to six um, come out this weekend again, that's going to cause its own type of market crash because people are going to want to go out and do those SBCs. Now, I would assume that the high rated golds with uh, the weekend league rewards are back down. A little bit uh, which it looks like they aren't so high rated golds are very high right now and I would consider getting out of them if you bought 85s they're up like 3k if you bought 86s they're up over 5k 87s are up about 8 to 9k everything is high man everything is really high if you are invested in high rated I might sell beforehand because you don't know what this SBC is going to be if they make this SBC 600k to 700k to complete the middle icon SBC we're talking about here um, I don't know if a lot of people will do it. Yes, you have a chance of packing Hull at Eusebio and everybody that you had a chance to pack in the Baby Icon SBC, but instead of this SBC being 400K and makes it seem, okay, if I do one, I'll stash it in my club for when I do an Icon SBC later. If you're doing this SBC, you're not doing it with that fallback plan of doing the SBC and then, oh, I can use this Icon in an SBC later. You want a solid icon. That's why I'm not sure how the demand will be for this SBC. That's why I really think picking up on the panic selling could be a good move tomorrow because people like to panic sell. We've seen that this year uh, at any any sort of inkling or you know any news that a promo is going to be coming. People like to panic sell, and we got some uh, the cheapest icons right now on the market at 330k. I think I have one in the club for 305. I'll probably hold on to that just to see what happens tomorrow. If they make this SBC very, very cheap, which I don't see happening, everything throughout this promo has been pushing the limit or it's been, you haven't got anything for like free uh, during this promo. Obviously you've had to dish out some coins for whichever SBC you're gonna do. I mean, they're charging 170 to 200K for this Doombia card. It's not gonna be a starter on anybody's team. That's a pure super sub player. Uh, same with this S Vine. I mean, the card stats look good, but I don't know. That's an interesting card that they put out. The Parasitch, obviously, was a little bit of coins. The Willion, I think, was the best deal so far out of this entire promo. Uh, obviously, we have more SBCs to come. Uh, but the Willion card, he probably won't get a Tots. It's a position change, and he feels very, very good in the, in the game. He plays very well. So I think that was a decent SBC. But again, market-wise, today, watch for some panic. We love the Friday panic because that means... That we're making coins. Be careful with your foot birthday cards. They could do lightning rounds again. Um, that would be that would be interesting if they did. I don't. I wouldn't count on it. Um, but a lot of these cards have dropped today because of rewards. So maybe they will do lightning rounds again. 
or I, I do believe regardless there will be more packs opened on the weekend just because people are going to be on the game and they will have some sort of promo pack in the store so watch these cards prices the foot birthdays they could be dropping with the panic and also um, with the weekend league sell-off they will still be in packs um, people will be selling them because they'll be done trying them out maybe going trying other ones throughout the week uh, but I think you might, if you want to get a foot birthday card in your team, this weekend's going to be the time to go look at that. All right, boys, it's going to be a fun day of foot today, uh, what we see with the SBC, with the market movements, and uh, all of that. So again, if you have the high rated, I think you might dish them out, take your money, just because you don't want to rely on an SBC to come. Uh, and they, I don't know if those cards can actually go that much higher. They are very, very inflated at the moment so i would take the money there and again if you still have weekend league flips to uh to sell i might get out of those a sap because we're probably going to see some sell off in the morning headed up to the event um of foot birthday and the weekend that we have with the sbcs that are being planned so be careful with that i'll probably offload this coutinho i bought it for uh 295 maybe we can get a sell at 320 i might try to play a game with them actually uh, yeah, we'll, we'll probably try a game with this Coutinho card just for fun. But anyways, uh, if you enjoyed the video, smash a thumbs up on it. It's going to be pumped. I'm pumped to see what we get today. Hopefully you guys are too. Uh, and always ask questions down below. If you have any questions about uh, investing or, or FIFA or anything like that, I'd like to have conversations with you guys down there. And subscribe to the channel if you're new. It's been Nate, the Foot Accountant. Catch you guys later. Peace out.